for for us in Final Fantasy, like Dungeon Dungeon Gear will is, is decent, but it's definitely not something that you chase usually. I don't know how I got hit just now. So what is the okay? What is the what is the thing I'm aiming to do here? What is my goal in this? Kill a bunch of guys. Okay. Like, in Final Fantasy, you can use uh, dungeon gear in raids, but raids give better gear, so usually you just chase, you know... You, you chase raid gear. Dungeon gear just gets you into that uh, level. Ow. I dodged, and you can see I dodged by the fact that I moved. Uh, yep. Oh, come on, dude. I have no place to move on this map for her, and she's stupid mobile, so I can't dodge his attacks. Oh, nice. Pretty solid upgrade. Okay, so Suga has appeared. I'm just gonna kinda wait for Suga to get over here. I'm not gonna go chasing after him, I think. Well, that's a lie. I take it back. Okay, he's going to be a tough fight for her because of how a lot of his attacks work. Okay, let's go ahead and pop the special. want to kill Suga because taking him out would cause more shit to spawn. Okay, can you not do that, Suga? That would be much appreciated. Problem is I haven't had a reason to use the bomb on her. But here's her bomb. Gets her in the air, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that, considering I almost got ruined because of it, but. Oh, is that already him there to be considered to be done? Suga has withdrawn. Okay. Interesting. 
Ego Blade Masters have appeared. Okay, there we go. Oh, God, okay. Yep, hit by two attacks simultaneously. Oh, and we get to start at the beginning again. Yay! Oh yeah, I definitely like Tabba more. What, the, the, the thing I don't like about her, I, I like how fun and movement-free she is, but the problem is you don't control a lot of the movement. Like, when, when you know, when the uh, walrus is kind of going all over the place, I don't have a lot of control over where it's going. Which also means I don't have a lot of control over where I'm going and where and how I'm attacking my opponent. Maybe this would be less of an issue if she was a higher level or if uh, my weapon was stronger, but... Uh... Definitely feels like an issue now. Because, like, you attack with the walrus. It doesn't matter where you are, it matters where the walrus is. This walrus keeps on getting stuck behind these waist high walls here. So I'm getting no damage in on this guy because this is the only place he wants to be. Yeah. Well, that's mostly just because I haven't upgraded her weapon yet. So that's not necessarily her fault. Like, her, her crowd control is pretty solid. Okay, there we go. Like, if I go out here into this open area and then start attacking, like, Gerudo over here. Or not Gerudo, but Yiga. Uh, apparently he hit me over there. Cool. Okay, please, yeah, don't hit Suga with stasis at all. He's only standing right next to you. It's really hard to specifically hit him in that attack. You first. Oh, I somehow dodged that attack. I do not know how I dodged that. Don't ask me. I have no idea how I did not get hit by that. Yeah, her ability to specifically hit a single target is just not good. I can hit gigantic, like, swaths of targets. Okay, so Suga's leaving. Let's 
So she seems to be another in this, like, long line of characters that is very good at hitting large groups of enemies. But is terrible at single targets. Also, being up in the air and not being able to see your opponent sucks! Hestu was actually not the worst for that. I think the Great Fairy is probably the worst upender in that. Okay, so we got even more Yiga Blade Masters, so yay. No wonder they gave you so much time to do this. My god. And her dodge is just god awful. Okay, cool. I'll get hit by something I was moving past. That's fine. Well, I got no hits with that. So this time I have three Blade Masters I have to deal with. I think she's gonna be another. Okay, cool. That's fine. I think she's gonna be another one of those characters that I just end up putting on the, uh. You know, just putting on the not gonna be played list. I am gonna die. Cool. I like dying from shit like this. Yeah, I can't dodge all three of them, because if I dodge... Oh god, we've started to from the beginning again! Her dodge is so bad! Okay, I was giving her the benefit of the doubt, but I am very quickly beginning to not like her. Mostly because you have you have no control. You have no control over her. Like you guys have seen me when I'm playing Link, you'll hear me counting every once so often. And I'm specifically counting how many attacks Link has done to make sure I do the version of the attack I'm looking for. I don't know where her attacks start and end. I can't figure it out. This is the attack I want to be using against most enemies. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you for somehow following me through that. Also, some of her attacks make the camera just freak out, and I can't follow the enemy I'm supposed to be dodging. Cool, that's a wall, sure. You know, you might not be wrong. That may very well be how the game intends you to play her. But given that this map is nothing but waist-high walls that are impossible to dodge, it's really hard to stay mobile. Because everything wants to slow you down. Uh, 
And unfortunately, there are not enough mobs on this map to actually uh, do... To actually just not engage. Hey, look, a waist-high wall. And we have completely lost track of Suga, so I have no idea what he's doing right now. Uh, teleporting next to me, apparently. So there's also no way to, like, control when I hit Suga for that particular mechanic, because you have to get behind him, then hit him from behind, or to stop him from hitting back. And, uh, because I can't control where the walrus goes, I can't control that. Oh, I very much do not want to be in the air. Okay, we will not be using uh, the bomb. Bombs are just not going to happen on her. Because they knock you into the air. That's exactly where you do not want to be on this character. Okay, so Suga's going to leave. Bye, Suga. You have fun. Oh, cool. Just launch me straight back into that attack, why don't you? Now, I wonder, would this be a good choice? Nope, apparently not. That's fine. I was only dodging around instead of me to dodge you. Don't worry about me. Yeah, potentially. Okay, cool. That's fine. Her camera is already squirrely enough. Let's just make it harder for me to use her camera. Like, I have to be able to see both of these guys to dodge both of them, but her camera does not allow for that. Okay, cool. You die, please. Thank you. Yeah, she is going in the stable, and she's not coming out. Or at least not on a map like this. If it was a very open map, and I could just use her as a just straight-up farm character, that'd be one thing. Okay, we need to go get some more, uh, some more kills. There's 200. Okay, so after the walrus does the spinny thing. Oh, well, nope. That is not how you decide if you're on the right thing. I have no idea how to define where the, the attack is that I'm looking for. Yeah, like, you could use her like that. The The problem I have with using her like that is that I have characters who do that better. Like, I'm comparing her to someone like, let's say, Sidon. Sidon can clear, and he's also competent at boss killing.
So, yeah, and also Teba, you know. Teba literally does this job better than she does, and he doesn't get hit by everything, because you can still get camera usage. And he's controllable. Like, what I will say, you know, in her in her defense, she is fun to play. She's just not good. Ow. Like, she's stupidly mobile, she's very flashy, she's fun, just not good. Ow. Oh, for the love of God. Yeah, I got rid of one of them. Problem is, I have absolutely no healing items left. Like these guys to be closer together, please. So I can actually watch them. Thank you. Okay. That's got rid of these guys. And now I just have to kill a bunch of people. And unfortunately, a lot of these people are separated, but we only have to kill ten, so we should be fine. There we go. Oh my god, are you seriously gonna make me kill Suga? At least, was there a success? I didn't see a success. God, there's a Blade Master involved. There's two Blade Masters involved. Nope. Okay, there was a retry. Uh, there doesn't appear to be a time limit for this part, thankfully. Okay, can you- what are you doing? Are you gonna lay down? What are you doing? Okay. Let's just- Okay, we're gonna do that. Like, the problem is, we still have this, like, we still have this really obnoxious arena, too, that has even more freaking waist-high walls. And, yep, just teleported by him, he just immediately hit me. 
Uh, that's not at all what I want to do, but okay, game. Well, I no longer have that. Okay, well, that's cool, because he immediately killed me before I could actually get him on my camera. That's fine. Like, if I can get rid of these freaking Blade Masters, we should be fine. Okay, cool. Apparently, I cannot hit that Blade Master. He is behind a small divot, and therefore impossible to hit, and this one gets behind me when I apparently have no control of my character. Apparently, you cannot dodge in that animation. I have no idea what's going on. We're just gonna hit this. No idea where Suga is. No idea what's going on. Suga is doing weird things. Here, have a bomb. I have no idea what this Blade Master's doing. Here's Suga. Okay, cool. Yeah, don't move my camera. Do not allow me to see the guy that's about to kill me. I really appreciate that game. God, that is a constant issue, and it's even worse on her. Because the, the game forces the camera to move with her. So I cannot always focus on the enemy I want to focus on. For example, it's focusing on an Eco Blade Master who is behind me, but wouldn't actually move the camera to him. So the problem is, I can go. So I can go out to the uh, sands out here, and they will come out to me, which is fine. But they will teleport, and I won't know when they're coming because I can't see them. The Suga is on the way, if you can see. So they are on the way, but they're going to teleport soon, and I won't know when they're teleporting necessarily. Come on, Suga. There's the teleport. The problem is, the other two are about to do this too. There's one. And there's the blade wall from the other one that I couldn't see. Because he was off camera. Yeah, this is just bullshit. Now, it doesn't help that I have no health and no healing items, but that just kind of happened over the course of the uh, fight up until now. And, yeah, yep, yep. Yep. It's more, let's not throw... or Basically, it's let's make it so the character is actually controllable in a predictable way. And keep in mind, she should be predictable because you should know what her... Yep. Yep. And we get to wait because things are popping up and you're not allowed to reset while messages are popping up. Yep, same exact thing happened. Same exact sequence. I dodge one, and the other one just immediately teleports behind me and kills me. Okay, Suga's outside of this. That's fine. Now, I only have to defeat Suga, but realistically, we want to defeat all of them. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. I was in the air, because that happened. Time, 
And in the air, you can't dodge, unless you're a volley. Okay, I have no idea what the other ones are doing right now. I really don't want to be in the air, but apparently we're in the air for a while. And... Blade... It. Yeah, at least there is no loading screen. You're exactly right. At least there's no loading screen. Oh, cool. I like not being able to see my opponents. Very fun game. Appreciate you. Welcome back, Endelord. Man, I love, I love wall jumps. I do. Uh, where's Suga? Suga's out here. He's in an area I want him to be in. Okay, but nope. So the puff of smoke from Suga blocked the puff of smoke from the other guy. So I had no way of knowing there was two of them there. Are there blue, black, or white Yuga? No. Nope. Oh my god, we got a healing item. Okay. I mean, it's not hating everything about them, it's just being annoyed at a couple of design decisions that seem really not good. Like this one. This is a really not good design decision. Not being able to control your character is a really bad design decision. And, yep. Yep. What's well, Freddy controlling them? That's the way this character works. Like, that's just how this character works. I am not causing this camera to just flip around like it is. I'm also not causing the character to just kind of whip around. That's just how this character moves. They just kind of are all over the place like this. Also, let's... Uh, freaking wall jumps. Yeah, the wall rush just kind of goes where it wants. Technically, the uh, combos it does are predictable because she has very specific combos. But because cameras whipping around and because enemies are all over the place. Oh yeah, of, of course. Apparently, I pressed A twice, and so uh, there goes my special. Basically, just watch this character. Watch what happens, and understand that most of what's going on here is not under my control. So, because of that, uh, there's a slow, there's a slight pause after her. Okay, that one was my fault. There's a slight pause after she spins, and you can't do anything during that pause. So I got hit by an attack that I was not allowed to dodge. What's her unique action? Uh, this. The walrus just goes nuts. Also, I wasn't allowed to dodge that. Why is it matter that I pressed A twice? A number one hits retry. A number two used my special, because special's on A. I, the walrus is her weapon. Like, the walrus is her actual weapon. Every attack she has uses the walrus. So, I have no control over that. I cannot not use the walrus. And the problem is, is that part of the walrus being her weapon causes, when she attacks, it causes her to do weird things that are not necessarily easy to do anything about or to control. Yep, and there's the one from behind me. <sighs> she she has a lot of animation lock problems, too. Yeah, so, th so 
so here's the thing different button combinations will perform different attacks so pressing y once does an attack Pressing Y and then Y again does a second attack. Pressing Y and then pressing X does a different attack entirely. The problem is, is that the walrus moves. It does. It moves in very predictable ways. So, like, I know this walrus is going to slam down now. But the problem is that, for example, in the air, I cannot dodge. So there was nothing I could do to stop that particular kill. There's nothing, nothing I can do at that point. Uh, the walrus also, when it does this spinning thing that it was about to do, I have no control there, but because the walrus was about to spin, I can't dodge there, so the attack there that just happened, I have no way of stopping. So, yes, I am mostly in control of her, but it's more that I control which stupid thing she's about to do, and then once she starts doing the stupid thing, I have no control over her anymore until the stupid thing ends. So I'm kind of in control of the fact that she's moving around, but the problem with that is that I can't stop her from moving around that animation. Uh, what base set? So, like, in that attack just there, I can't stop her from moving. So I just have to kind of do it, and there's no dodge there. Okay, this is coming in. Please let me dodge this. Please let me dodge this. So there were three different teleports that just happened there. All three of my enemies teleported, and I was only able to dodge two of them. There's a teleport. There's a second teleport. She's, she'd be very fun in an open battlefield that didn't have a lot of things blocking me with enemies that don't have the ability to go wherever the hell they want. Also, that enemy shot that blade through that wall. And the problem is that when the walrus moves, my camera moves with it. I don't always have control of where my camera is. That would be, um, the sand attack killed me. But because I was in the air, don't get to do anything. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I have to dodge before the attack hits me, and a lot of things she does takes away my ability to do things like dodging also, okay. Uh, yeah. If you watch me play someone like Link, his animations are very short, and they don't screw with my ability to actually, for example, move my camera. Oh, I dislike that I made this decision. Yep. Okay, I, I gotta ask, is there a reason you're defending what you're seeing on screen? Like, no, I, it is not always, but it is something like 80% of this playtime, I am not in full control of what she's doing. There's a reason I keep on being hit by the same stuff, and it's not because I'm not learning. It is because I have no control over her during that time. Like, right now, there are two enemies I cannot see on this screen, and I have to... And I just died, because one enemy did a thing off the screen I had no way of knowing was happened, and the problem is I also was not allowed to move my camera to see that enemy. So it's this thing like I cannot respond to something, not only because there are animation locks, but also because sometimes they're just not on camera and I can't get them on camera. So I'm trying everything I can to make sure that all three of these guys are on camera at all times, 
But you'll notice the camera moving right now is not me moving it. That's just because during that attack, that camera moves. Okay, and that was the ca the uh, character side to launch at the guy who was attacking me instead of the guy who I was facing. So the guy who killed me, the game launched me at him. If he didn't, I could have actually dodged that attack. But nope, it launched me into him and therefore threw the attack in question. Like this particular fight has taken me longer than I think anything else today because of these issues. Okay, I need to dodge now. Oh, this could be bad. This could be, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, let me dodge. Let me dodge. Nope. I'm dead. I was not able to actually do anything about his dash attack. I was able to dodge everything else, got many, many perfect dodges, and then that dash attack just killed me. And then that was more my fault than anything. And the problem is, I'm the other thing is, like, part of it's difficulty, but you also understand is that I am over-leveled for this fight. So, oh, I'm dead. Nope, oh, Flurry Rush. Okay, cool. Come on. Okay, I need these other two guys on my actual- to, to be actually visible, please! I have no idea where the other one is or what he's doing. Okay. Keep dodging, keep dodging, keep dodging! Dodge again! I mean, yes, I am overstating what the actual issue is. Like, I am not saying that every single time she's uncontrollable, but in any given, given game, especially a game where you have precision dodging, if a character is uncontrollable for a majority of time, it might as well be uncontrollable the entire time. It doesn't matter there are small times when I can actually do something. And I might be using hyperbole, but... Time to dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, do this. Yeah, I'll use hyperbole a lot. I will not deny it. Uh, this is not what I want to be doing. Okay. Yep. Well, it's not that the game expects you to play on one hit death a significant portion of the time. The real issue is that I, I just took hits in the previous sections due to many of the same issues. And now I have no way to heal. So I am now on one hit death and I have to do this entire fight without taking any hits. And there are no healing items from the remainder uh, for the remainder of the fight, as far as I can tell. Like I can't find any other healing items. I'm looking right now. I'm not seeing any bosses or anything. Something earlier gave me a healing item. Oh, okay. Everybody teleported over. Cool. Some box I opened on a previous attempt actually did give me a healing item, but I haven't figured out where that box was to try to open it again. Oh, is this box over here? Okay. Nope. Just one of the attacks behind me. Okay. Like, realistically, I actually could beat this without taking any hits. It's just a matter of getting the attacks I need to happen when I need to have them. 
when I need them to happen. And if I could get lucky and actually kill one of these Blade Masters. I don't know where the third Blade Master is, by the way. He's just freaking gone right now. Yep. I can't find the other third the third Blade Master. He's just somewhere. Yeah, unfortunately, like, luring them to an open place doesn't do anything. It just makes the fight take longer. And I actually kind of need to be over there in that corner, because there are boxes I could open that could have a healing item. Yeah, I wanted to not be in the air the entire time, but hi, wall jumps. Yes, you sounded like a cool mechanic at the beginning, and you have proven to be one of the worst mechanics in the entire game. Yeah, like, it, it, it takes a while to get them all over there, and then the biggest problem when you get them all over there is that they then have the ability to teleport. And because they're a while away, I can't necessarily see when they're going to teleport. Oh, hey, cool. We're in the air. Uh, that's a bad thing. Like I said, the big thing we want to do is we want to... Um, uh, cool, I wanted to use my freeze there, and I was not allowed to. Thank you, game. And there's Suga killing me when I'm dodging. Yep. Oh my god, I am not using this character ever again! Oh, why was I not allowed to... Okay. There are also animation locks, so certain attacks will not allow me to dodge, and I also cannot break the animation. Like, I cannot stop the attack from occurring. So, I just can't dodge, and that's a death sentence in this game. Can I not combo? No. No. The actual attacks in this game that are strong and worth doing are combo attacks. So you have to combo. That's a required thing in a Warriors game. Oh, uh, I have no idea what's going on. Please, one of you, break. Thank you. Okay, one is dead. I have no idea what's going on with the other two. Are, are two of them dead? Did I kill the other? I did. Okay. Now I only had to deal with Suga. Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay. We're in a better place. Keep dodging, just keep dodging. Okay. Oh god. Back up. Throw this. Oh my god, it actually hit him. Okay. Let's double check. Yeah, I have nothing. We're just gonna hit him with this real quick. Just give me a couple extra free attacks. Except this happens, so now I can't control over my attacks. I'd like to be able to dodge. Okay. Because I figured something like that was happening. Okay. Do not. Just go. Come down. Okay, now hit him. Damn it! Oh, we're just gonna... And behind him, stay the hell away from that. I don't want this when I'm in single target mode. Nope. I want you to go away. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. We're just using basic attacks for now to break as much as I can. Nope. 
She doesn't have enough control to hit him during that, unfortunately. And what's your next thing gonna be? Okay. If I can break him, he's probably done. Yeah, we are very much in Keep It Simple Stupid at this point. Please break. Please die. Just die. Just fall over. Just cease to exist. Thank you. <sighs> that just wasn't fun. Koga Animal Duga? You know what? You, you joke. Thing. Got stuff. Yeah, it's more yay it's been done. Yay it is over. They're probably going to make you play her again in the near future. But, uh, you know. Hopefully, I will have another character I can play as at the same time, so that way I have options in a situation like that. Okay. So that is done. Uh, now... Okay, what is this? Winged Escort. So that's a Lionel and a Thing. It will upgrade Teba. Um, yeah, let's try it. Let's let's see it. Let's see if Teba can do it. The only problem with Teba right now is that he doesn't have um. Oh, not lightning. Nice. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. So one of the things that I was doing was um, I was. Okay, what's we're gonna do? Yeah, we're going to go with that. So one of the things that I was doing is instead of using her heavy attacks, uh, I was just using basic attacks on her, and that keeps her the most controllable. You don't do a lot of damage, but at least you can control what she's doing. 